So when we, so we got the fiberglass mixed with the hardener, and then um, there's a lot of this sort of stuff that we do. We put the bondo on, and in order to join the pieces temporarily, and then we go back and then we'll fiberglass it on, and then it'll be really, really strong. Um, when you fiberglass, if you're to, to take the fiberglass and put a piece on there, when you take the um, resin and put it on there, it would, it would tend to move around and it'll probably be take a while for it to, for the resin to work its way all the way through. So normally we'll take it and get it wet first. Everything that we're going to be uh, doing the fiberglass on is to get it wet just so that when we put down the fiberglass on top of it, now the wind won't blow it or anything like that. And then, uh, so this is what it looks like. You see that the resin sort of soaks into it and you can see where it is that, like in there where it's all darkened, uh, that's where the resin is completely soaked through, but you can see that wherever it's like partially soaked, you can, it's still a little bit white, so we need to get all of the white out of it. It's gonna be kind of the idea. And then the other thing is, is that, like right there is gonna be an air bubble, um, where when I put it down, I'll do a, maybe one on the other side that'll make it a more exaggerated version, but whenever you go around sharp crevice, sharp, um, sharp edges, like right here where it's just a, a very hard edge, like a 90 degree angle, to make sure to fray it. Because uh, here, I'll go over to the other side and I'll do a really bad one to see the idea of it. And if I was to do something like this, when I go to move it this way and then I go to try to go the other way, you can see that it's not going to fold well. It'd be like if you were to try to put a piece of paper over that, it's like it, it folds very much like a piece of paper. You see what I'm saying? So you can see that this is not going to go, no matter how much, I, I would have to work at it a very long time in order to get this, but it's, it, as I'm trying to put it down, you can see that there's now a big air bubble there, and then when I try to work this one out, then there'll probably be kind of more air bubbles here on the side. And now that I got the side ones out, I got another air bubble kind of starting there that, so it, it's, all, all it is is that if you put it down in a big chunk like that over something that has um, a lot of curves, then you'll have to spend a lot of time trying to get the air bubbles out in it, and then you probably really won't ever get them all out. You can come back and cut this off later, and there will still be air bubbles in here. So now on the other side, what it is that it should look like when you go around a sharp curve is it to get used to doing something like this where you just take it and pull it apart and get yourself a small chunk. But if I do something like this and then only have frays on the side to wherever wherever it's curving, to have it be very frayed, then you can see, now I'm gonna have to try to double back over that bad one, but you can see that went down in about a second right with no air bubbles at all just because it was frayed and I can do it and then similarly for something like that to just use kind of a smaller piece of something that looks like that and to fray it a little bit to where see I'm pulling it apart and I can kind of almost see through it it'll conform very easily then rather than taking something that looks like this and just putting it down it'll take forever to get all the air bubbles worked out of that but if you do a very frayed piece that looks like that when it's time to um, go around those curves, you can see that it just, it goes over them very easily. Alright, that's it. So this is how you know that it's time to stop, is that um, it's starting to look like jelly. And so when we are before, we were about ready to put on the last layer, and maybe 20 minutes since we started. And when we go to try to put on, put it on, see it's it's somewhere between a solid and a liquid. It looks kind of like Jello, and we can't put any more on at that point. Um, or else it'll just make things worse. We're already it's kind of starting to. You can see kind of it has Jello in the uh, like chunks in it. 
can see where it's starting to get chunky. So this is what it looks like when we need to stop. Instead of trying to take this and dump it on there and hope that it works, it's never going to work. It's just going to, it's not even going to, it's not going to have the same structural, um, it's not going to be as strong as when it goes onto a liquid, has a liquid and then cures and it's just a good solid. You can't keep working with it when it's this jelly.